It is Modeskis Bukaskis, who is uh, on a successful USC return, man. 2-0 and since coming back. Four straight wins overall. Uh, man, Modeskis, I know it was a tough challenge for a while, but you're back. How are you feeling about the run that you're on right now? Yeah, feeling good, man. Well, the main thing is we're getting the results now. You know, like, like you said, I've got two wins in a row, uh, one against a, you know, very top ranked opponent and then the other against, you know, a very, a very tough and durable uh, Zach Pogo, who's also an ultimate fighter runner up. So and at heavyweight as well. So, you know, he's he's a big boy. So, uh, yeah, it's it's amazing to start this run the way I wanted to this time. I'm definitely doing all the right things, taking my time and learning the appropriate lessons and uh, moving forward. We're just going to continue to just, like I say, keep getting better and, and just do everything the right way this time. I love it, man. Well, a big win this past weekend over Zach, who you said is not an easy fight by any stretch. You got some of the battle wounds there for, that are healing up. But I guess, how, how did the fight play out versus what you expected going in? Well, I mean, I really expected him to... Do you know what? It's, it's funny because... For what I expected him to do, I had the answer for it. But then that sort of changed up his way of fighting. He started blitzing and throwing big overhands, which he doesn't normally do. He kind of takes his time a little bit. We we kind of both of us got into a bit of a firefight. So it was a bit of a, a counter-striking approach from 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 myself. Um but yeah, like I was very thankful that, you know, my coach just told me the exact things that I needed to do to keep him from keeping me on the cage. And, you know, getting myself to my feet if I did get taken down, which obviously is what happened. But uh, I was able to land, you know, some some pretty devastating strikes. But uh, he, 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 definitely, uh, he definitely surprised me in the fact that, like I say, he's, he's, he's very tough and he had a very good sort of blitz, like kind of overhands, like, you know, uh, yeah, man, he's, he, he's, he's a good guy. What can I say? But I'm, I'm glad that I got everything executed as well the way that I wanted to. Yeah, no doubt. It was an entertaining matchup between you guys. And so this is what I was wondering about. I mean, uh, we talk about this comeback and the run that you're on, but man, it's happening fast, right? So four fights in like a seven-month stretch. I mean, mentally, physically, uh, has this been a, a challenging stretch for you? I mean, I know you're, you're where you want to be, but it's, it's a lot. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I love to fight. Like, you know, obviously, I would have loved to have fought on the London card. I mean, sh shit. If if there was a possibility, I get uh, if I could get on there now. Trust me, I'll take it. But um, but yeah, like, I just like to stay active. I like I like to be, you know, I like to be in the spotlight. I like to keep this comeback story going. Um, and and like I say, I feel like I'm doing things the right way now. And uh, you know, I'm 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 doing things. You know, much better than the first time round. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just loving the the whole the whole experience. You know, going to different countries. You know, fighting all these guys. You know, like I say, being in front of all these audiences. So for me, I'm absolutely loving it. Like you only get to do all this stuff, you know, one time round. You know what I mean? And and you know, after it's all said and done, that's it. So I'd like to to make the most out of it as much as I can. So to be honest, I'm just fully embracing it and and loving the whole journey. I love it, man. So when you talk about doing things the right way, are you talking about professionalism in your daily approach? I mean, I, I feel like, you know, the, the diet is, is a thing that gets adapted late. Uh, recovery is a thing that sometimes people don't pay attention to all the time. Is it that kind of stuff or is it your mental approach? Like what's what's right now that wasn't right before? Definitely the mental approach for sure. Uh, is definitely more on like the warrior sort of mindset, which I was being a bit too much of a sportsman before. Whereas now I'm like really going in there to like you know really hurt the guy and re you know like I said going in in that with the full sort of going out there with your freaking sword and shield and you're going out to uh, you know you're, you're like I say out on a battlefield trying to try to take out as many as men as possible. So that's that's one side that that 100 percent I've I've definitely started integrating. Like I, I I said in 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 other interviews as well, sort of. Uh, tapping into my ancestral traits as well like you know I'm not, like all my ancestors have been you know sort of built up through war and, and violence so you know I'm sort of um, using that spirit and that energy a lot more now as well and and it's just I've become a lot more open-minded as well like in terms of adding particular skill sets it's like you almost feel like you're not necessarily an expert, but you feel like, oh, well, I'm, I'm already at this level. So it's just about fine tuning certain things. But, you know, there's actually many other like skill sets that you need to also master as you're going along and, and, you know, um, sort of 
kind of channel everything to, towards a certain way. Now, don't get me wrong. I did make a lot of mistakes in that fight also. So those are definitely things I'm going to work on. But now I'm doing things the right way in terms of like I'm taking fight by fight. You know, I'm not taking a massive step up in competition and jumping straight into the top 15. You know, you've got to build up your confidence. You've got to build up your skill set. Find the little tweaks that you need to make. And then slowly but surely, surely you are going to be able to compete and fight those guys in the top 15 and beat all those guys in the top 15. Of course, mentally, I already feel that way but when you're in a fight you know you need to be able to adapt and, and do certain things on the fly and obviously some people can do it straight away some people need a bit more time and for me you know obviously it's good I can have a little step up you know uh, uh, little step ups in competition uh, bit by bit piece by piece and then finally you get up to the full picture which is obviously to the fight for the belt so um, yeah we're just doing things like I say uh, the right way in terms of the speed of which we're you know having our trajectory which will then be in line with obviously the the increase in the skill set which inevitably will 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 bring to uh, towards the title picture. I love it. That's a great way to explain it all. I love that mindset talk too, right? Because it's funny like I feel like we do try to remind people, "Oh no, this is a sport. You know, it's not blood sport out there. It is a sport, you know, and, and you try not to build up the pressure and you try to make it comfortable, but at the end of the day, you it's hand-to-hand -hand combat in there. You know what I mean? So you talk about having that primal mindset. It's like you don't want to have that primal mindset on a daily basis and training every day because it'll wear you <laughs> out, but you yeah. got to flip it on when you step in there. Oh yeah. A hundred percent. And, uh, it, it's almost like I, I like I've said before, red, red and blue lightsaber. Sometimes in training you got to have the red lightsaber. You know, you go to a different you go to a different training camp and you go with people that you've never trained with before. You have to bring it out a little bit. You know, if they're trying to put it on you, you got to put it on them back. And that that's sort of the type of fighting mindset that you're going to have when you're in the cage against, uh, like I say, another opponent. You're going to have to turn that switch on that aggressiveness, that violence, and and stuff like that. And and even just the red lightsaber, even just for competition, like you've always got to want to win, you know, like no matter what, sometimes of course, um, you've, you've got to just be humble and, and accept that, you know, you're just trying to learn things. But at the same time, if there's areas where, you know, you've got to go out there just to, win, you know, you really go out to win, you, you're sort of testing the waters to, to prepare you for what it's going to be like. A region. And it's about finding a fine balance. And I definitely feel like, I'm finding that fine balance a, a lot better now than I did, obviously, uh, earlier on in my career. I love that, man. Well said. You know, the other thing I want to ask you about this is, I mean, you talked about you went through some dark times. I mean, you had your dream taken away from you. You had your physical health taken away from you, you know. And I could see a lot of people that would just be like, I quit. You know what I mean? I tried. I gave it a go. And that's that. But there's a lot of people, not just, you know, and I don't mean just, you know, an MMA journey, but just in life. People are dealing with struggles like that. They're in bad spots. So, like, what's the biggest lesson you took out of that or you realized that made you go, no, nah, to hell with that. Like, I'm going to go right back there. I know I can get back to where I was. Well, it's always been my dream, you know. Like, I, I'm, I've been that guy to never give up on on my dreams. And one of my main dreams, was, like I say, was even just to be a professional athlete in, in whatever sport it was and to be at the highest level. And, you know, I, I, it's like I got, I got so close to – to, to, to doing so well and like I say I'm just so young as well and I've got so much time ahead of me and I've still got a very physical and able-bodied all it was was just an injury that I just needed to recover and for me it's like imagine this story yeah like I've already been through a hell of a lot of adversity already leading up to that point with to, during my first run to the UFC and then you know oh he got to the UFC oh the first Lithuanian born uh male in the in the UFC and then Oh, and then he got cut, and then that's it. Done. Like, what kind of story would that be? What book would that be? That'd be a that'd be a shit book. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Do you know what I mean? It's like if that would just finish right there and then, that was like another big motive. Not not even that was like a motivating factor, but it's just like, imagine I'm just sitting there and just thinking to myself, like looking back at my life. If I gave up right then, I would feel like such a pussy. Like, do you know what I mean? I feel like a uh, uh, like a like a failure in life. Like, how could you just leave it just there? Especially when you're fully able, like you're physically able, you're young, you're you can give it another shot, and you decide, ah, I'm just not going to do it because oh, I tried it once. Ah, I gave it. This is not the mentality of a winner. It's not a mentality of of um, of someone who, like you know, really is going to succeed in life, and and you know that would carry over to other areas of my life. I would then just choose to fail in other areas of my life as well. So uh, I was never going to let that, 
you know, kind of take control over myself. And uh, I thought it would be absolutely amazing just to be able to document everything and then look back on it and think, oh, my God, look how far you've come. And now looking back on all of it as well, looking at the story, looking at the recordings that I've taken, it's mad. I, I put up a documentary not just before my fight and you hear the voice notes that I said to myself leading up to the, to, to the fight and leading up to me being in the UFC. I said in 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 like 2021, I said, oh, I'm going to be back in the UFC by 29 or 30 years old. And lo and behold, everything, you know, came to fruition. There was a lot of things that I said that actually came true. And the, the name of the video was called Visions. And uh, yeah, it, it's like everything that I said I was going to do, I, I went out and did. So, you know, it's another thing as well. You, 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 it really shows what, what value you have as a man to say you're going to do something and then go through and actually do it, you know? And I always knew I had the capabilities. I always knew I had the skill set. If I genuinely thought, do you know what? My skill set's not that good. And, you know, I felt like it was, uh, it was an injustice to myself to, to have the things happen to me and, and not show people what I'm truly made of. That's the one thing. It's just like, you you go out there and you're not showing people w what you can really do and it's just like oh, like that's that was what was really like hitting a nerve in me like, i know i'm so much better than this so a lot of that was a massive driving factor and you know that's what that's what kept me going every single day don't get me wrong it's tough like you know what i mean like i had a lot of times where you're depressed sitting in bed you know drinking you know thinking what the hell is going on with my life you know you you don't know where to start you're looking at this mountain so high and you know you're right at the bottom but it's just working day by day and slowly battling through it and 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 and, and just getting on with it you know at the end of the day no one gives no one gives a shit about how bad the situation is you just got to get through it it's funny how now people look at me and and you know are inspired and and and, and stuff like this and i'm just like well you know <sighs> At the end of the day, this it only would would make the story if I made it happen. So I knew I just had to put my whole hundred percent full effort to make it happen. And you know, thank God everything worked out the way that I wanted it to. That's awesome, man! What a great lesson. I tell you, when the fighting career is done, maybe the the motivational speaking circuits that will await for you there, man. It got me, you got me fired up. But you got some fighting to do before then. So uh, let's talk about. What, I mean, you, you kind of touched on it. I believe you're crazy enough that you would take a phone call and jump on the London card if need be. Uh, there's also Paris a little bit later in the year that might make some sense. Are you eyeing those two cards, or or is it time for a little summer vacation? What's the What's the plan? Um, I, f I think. Well, I'm going to continue training. I'm going to continue to, like I say, work on my skill sets. Um, I think there's another card in Europe somewhere. Uh, that my manager's hinting at. So I'm kind of just going to see where it fits in the best. Um, you know, um, obviously, like, like I say, I, I, I want to take a bit of time out to work on particular areas and, and, and stuff like this. So we'll just see whatever the best fit is. You know, if we can get one fight in at the end or, or, or two fights in, it, it really just depends. But we'll see what the landscape of the light heavyweight division is. You know, what are the best matchups to come forward? You know, when they can arrange everything. And then we'll sort of go from there. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm not going to do what I did the first time, which was just rush into everything. We're going to, you know, take our time. Um, you know, like I say, work our way slowly slowly up the ranks uh improve my skill set as we're going along and um and yeah just keep trying you know continue to put on uh masterful performances awesome well Modesca, congratulations again it's been an awesome to follow your journey of of getting back and then like you said getting the results and finding success so congratulations on the latest win and uh we look forward to the news on the next one. Oh, thank you so much my man like i say it's always a pleasure talking to you and i really appreciate it my bro